In this video, we'll be looking at the Austrian Audio HiX25 BT headphones. Huh? You can't hear me. Oh, of course you can't hear me. In this video, we'll be looking at the Austrian Audio HiX25 BT headphones, a uniquely versatile pair of cans that truly traverse the studio and leisure paradigms. The HiX25 BT are a pair of closed back headphones that can connect to your audio device of choice via a traditional analog 3.5mm jack, digitally via USB-C or wirelessly via Bluetooth. They have a battery life of 30 hours, charge via the USB-C socket and you can continue to use them via Bluetooth whilst charging. They come in this box with the handy Austrian Audio Velcro strip that can be cut up and used as cable ties and you can order a semi-hard carry case as an optional extra for around 25 quid. The headphones themselves have an RRP of £135 in the UK. Key features are Austrian Audio's high excursion driver technology which promises outstanding low harmonic distortion at low frequencies and a crystal clear sound. Here we have all metal hinges for durability and stability, a foldable construction for ease of travelling, a built-in mic for taking calls and memory foam ear pads for comfort during extended listening sessions. Austrian Audio promises around 30 hours of use from a full charge and everyone here at the PDP HQ have been using them quite intensely for the past month and we haven't actually had to charge them at all since they came out of the box. Pretty cool. Range is... Excellent, and latency is low enough via Bluetooth that I'd happily use these for mixing, so I don't have to worry about tripping over cables. For tracking, when plugged in to avoid that latency, they offer great isolation, so you're not going to have any problems regarding click bleeding into microphones, and they play impressively loud with a standard headphone output as offered by most budget audio interfaces and monitor controllers. Via Bluetooth, they aren't quite as loud, you're relying on the built-in amplification in the headphones for that, but the physical design does a great job of rejecting ambient noise, so they're more than loud enough for use out and about on public transport, and when mixing, you can zone out external noise and really concentrate on what you're doing undistracted. Talking of Bluetooth, there is a ribbon-style control on the right-hand side that enables you to adjust the volume and start and stop tracks just by tapping, but Personally, I found this to be very hit and miss and tracks were often getting paused or skipped completely if I adjusted the headphones on my head for a moment or just took them off. So I'd like to see a standard turnable knob next time as I found it far easier to adjust the volume just using my phone. Sonically, they're pretty good with some room for improvement. I think they sound better than many headphones costing a lot more money. The bass end is there, but it's not overemphasized to make everything sound massive and impressive. The mids and highs are detailed, but probably a little too forward for my personal taste, particularly in the high mids, but not overly so. And mixes I've performed on them generally do translate very well. And this will only improve over time as you get more used to them. Transient detail is okay, but when compared to other headphones in a similar price range, wired or otherwise, it does fall slightly short. I'd probably want to be referencing my mix on various other playback systems in order to be able to truly judge what I'm doing with compression. There's no discernible difference in sound quality between either the analog, USB or Bluetooth inputs, which is really impressive. Dolby Atmos mixes translate well and really these are very well made and comfortable to wear for long periods of time. The ear cups surround your whole ear and they're really comfortable and the pads can be removed but it is a bit of a faff so one improvement I'd like to see is an easily removable ear pad. It's always nice to be able to easily clean ear pads before and after a session if you have artists in the studio tracking. For the money I think they offer great value and if you don't need the Bluetooth functionality you could always save a few bob and go for the X15 which sounds sonically identical but coming at a mere £89 in the UK. For me however I do like the Bluetooth option. It meant I could continue to listen to music whilst washing the dishes this morning and think it's worth the extra money and the advantage of using them as a daily driver listening for pleasure type of headphone means that you get to know them pretty intimately and that can really help if you want to use them for mixing. Mark, on the other hand, doesn't like them. I don't like them. Why don't you like them? Because they're closed back headphones. Stupid. I'm putting them in the toilet. And that is why I didn't let him anywhere near this review. He's reviewed the Austrian Audio top of the range open backed Hi X65, however, so to check that video out, click on the end card on your screen right now. <laughs> 